Tonight, Kevin and I are going to be reviewing this Screaming Sicilian Pizza Company. This is a made, one of their made with beer pizzas. This is the Zabruski. That's what the made with beer pizzas are called. You just look for that. Uh, this is the barbecue recipe meatball pizza. It was $7.49 at Jungle Gems International Market in Ohio. Uh, we, as of yet, do not have these in our area. Uh, this is beer flavored crust with other flavors, beer flavored glazed meatballs, whole milk mozzarella cheese, beer flavored barbecue sauce, red onion, parmesan, and Romano cheese. So what you want to do is you uh, preheat your oven to uh, 425 and take it out of here. Oh, looks good. I love red onion, so uh, that looks really good to me to see all the, the little meatballs. These are like little mini meatballs, but that's okay because you get it. Looks like you get a bunch of them. And you can actually see that barbecue sauce uh, through there. I might move some stuff around a little bit just because it looks like this side has more. I don't know. Maybe I won't. Because um, it looks pretty good and they're pretty much frozen in place. So, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to fool with them. I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Um, it says remove all packaging, place uh, pizza on center rack, and then bake for 21 to 23 minutes. So we'll probably do it, what, Kevin, 22? 22. 22 minutes, and then we'll be back. So it is straight out of the oven, and you can see I didn't move around any pieces. There was even a meatball over here. They were on the, stuck pretty good. On the side, yeah, they, are, they were frozen solid. So I did not move them around at all. Um, but Kevin and I always half it. Uh, Kevin will eat three and I'll eat three. And so trust me, we'll both get some meatballs. So uh, we're going to get this cut and take you over to the table and give it a try. So I didn't give the calories for this. It says there are supposed to be five servings. Of course, we divided we it into six. six. Uh, five servings and one fifth of the pizza is 132 grams is 330 calories. So it looks very good. It smells good. It smells... Um, this is the third uh, Zabruski that we've tried, and each one of them smells, you can smell that it has the beer in it when you're baking it in the oven. It smells different than a typical uh, Scrum and Sazam pizza. And just know that the, the sauce is not a tomato sauce. The, the sauce is actually the barbecue. <laughs> Did you drop all the, the meatballs <laughs> on there? Uh, the barbecue is the sauce. So, you don't get a tomato sauce. This is a, a different sauce. Right. It's very good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Now you know what it's like with me to sit across from me and watch me. That's the big bites that I take. <laughs> um, I like that barbecue sauce. You it's not one. spicy. It is a sweet barbecue. You try one of the meatballs by itself? I just did. It's got a really good I, Italian I like it very uh, much. sausage flavor. I want to try the crust. I love the red onions too. Our purple onions, whatever they were called. Red onion. Yeah, they're red, but they turn purple. They, yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> they look purple. Um, I like the sweet barbecue sauce. Um, I like I like everything about it. I like the crust. The crust on these is, is mm -hmm. different than your typical Screaming Sicilian. It's it, a little crisper. Mm-hmm, it does. It's, it's almost like a thin crust, but it's not thin. No, because I think it's, it seems to be thicker. It may not be, but it seems to be thicker than the Bessie's Revenge pizzas. I don't think it is, though, because look how thin that is. I know, but it just, it, it is different, and I guess I just adding that beer makes that difference. Yeah. Um, I think this is good. I would definitely get this one again. Mm -hmm. I still think I like, we've tried three now. Mm -hmm. I still think I like the pepperoni better. I did. But this would be like number two out of those three probably. Because the Philly was okay. The the thing about the pepperoni that made it so good is there was a little bit, well, it, the pepperoni flavor. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of spice to it. Not that it's a spicy or hot or anything like that. Like, it's not going to burn your mouth or anything like that. But if you've had a pepperoni pizza, you know that there's just a spiciness to that mm -hmm. that you don't get in other pizzas. So just having that meat in particular on there makes it exceptional. So 
This is very good. Uh, I like this one, but you're right. I still, the pepperoni is still my number one mm -hmm. of the Zabruskis. Mm -hmm. So we have one more left to try. And, and that it's, sounds the best. I cannot wait to try it. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. it's, it says hot Italian or something like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I am really, really, really looking forward to it. I think it's it. hot Italian sausage and pepperoni. Okay. So it's got so, both things on it. Yeah. So, yeah. So this is really good. Just know that this is mm -hmm. a little bit on the sweeter side than the and other two. And look at all those meatballs. Yeah. I don't think you could have gotten any more meatballs. No, you didn't get that many. No, but I got a lot. I mean, there there are a ton of meatballs all over. And the meatballs have a really good but flavor. But that too. one particular piece, the one that's piece does a lot. hilarious. That must have been the one that was you were talking about picking some. Yeah, he, you couldn't have gotten any more on there if you had tried. I did it on purpose. <laughs> oh, gave yourself that one. <laughs> that's funny. That's okay. Yeah, I don't that's care. That's completely random. Well. This is very good. Definitely it's, worth it's, trying out. Yes, absolutely one to try. So, if you see them in your area, let us know too. Let other people know where you've seen them at, yes. what stores they're in, what state you live in, because we have not seen it in our area. I know uh, Scrum and Sicilian, uh, their home is in Wisconsin. Yes, yeah, so maybe they're working And John has told me, John is one of our viewers, and he has told us that he has seen them recently in Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, so, but he's, I mean, that's where they live. Right. That's the home of Scrum and Sicilian, so of course you're going to get them there. Um, so he has seen them there. Uh, so and then we got these in Ohio, right around Cincinnati. Right, so. so we don't know how far they branched out yet. But yes, let everyone know where you've spotted them, because uh, we would also like to buy them again. Mm -hmm. uh, because yeah, because they're, they're very, very good, and they're different. Good. They're different. Yes, absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.